It's my 1987 Chevrolet Silverado. As you can see, there's a little small dent on the front left fender, but that light still works. It's got custom rims on it. Both taillights still work. On the right side of the body's clean. Let's open up this hood right here. It's got a rebuilt 350 V8 engine in it with just a small little oil leak down there which all old trucks do. It's got headers and flow masters. It's got a turbo 400 uh, transmission with a Holley carburetor. Very nice engine. On the interior we got There's this part right here, sort of a little loose on here. So, some of the window rubber is getting old on here. Um, <clears throat> this right here, the window, window rubber here is corroding, but never really leaks any when it rains. So, got my floor mats, got in here, RPM. 73,427 original miles. The speedometer doesn't work, but I just have to replace a cable in it. Um, the lights right here, they work perfectly. Um, everything on here works. Windshield wipers work. Um, the cruise control does not work, though. This truck has uh, a place for, a, um, for AC, but the AC does not work, and it is out of this truck. So you'll have to rely on power windows that it has, which the power windows do work. Kind of slow, but they work. The windows on the right work, but the for sale sign is right there, so I can't really get that. But the interior is nice in this truck. Uh, the headliner works great. These are all intact. These vents right here look a little old, but the truck does have heat, and it works right there. Um, all this over here is in good shape except for that little thing right there, which I did on the other side. This door works. Um, this right here, the uh, window switch is broken off for some reason. I'm going to fire this sucker up and show you the uh, header. Got the, uh, got the exhaust with flow masters under there. Got a custom chrome uh, differential thing on the bottom. It was there when I bought it, so it makes it look cool. <laughs> and pretty much that's it. Um, you can contact me at that number right there, or you can send me an email at sdc10 at comcast.net